just three hours ago nvidia has dropped three massive models these models are of size 340 billion parameters just few hours ago nvidia has come up with nemotron 4 340 billion parameter model which is a family of open models that developer can use to generate synthetic data for training large language models for commercial applications across healthcare, finance, manufacturing, retail and every other industry. High quality training data plays a critical role in the performance, accuracy and quality of responses from these LLMs. If you go to the Hugging Face page of these models, you will see there are three models which they have released. There is a base model in this Nemotron 4, then there is an instruct model and then there is a reward model. And you can also check them out at Hugging Face model card separately. In this video, we will be giving you a quick overview of these models and I will also be showing you the installation instructions if you have access to a multi GPU cluster because you won't be able to run it on one GPU and certainly you cannot run it on anything less than H100. Now, as I said that this family includes Nemotron 4 340 base, instruct and reward variants. These models are open access under the NVIDIA Open Model License Agreement, which is a permissive license quite similar to Apache 2. These models perform competitively to open access models on a wide range of evaluation benchmark. And they were sized to fit on a single H100, H100 with 8 GPUs when deployed in FP8 precision. So I'm talking about FP8. But if you want to deploy it in full, you won't be able to fit it in. Also, the community can benefit from these models in various research studies. And there are a lot of research information which is present on their model card. Plus, there is also a technical report which you can access. And I will drop the link to it in video's description. Now, if you look at it, it's quite interesting, by the way. There are instruct models and then there are reward models. And that is what... Uh, has caught my eye because I haven't really seen anything like that before where a company has released a reward model plus a synthetic model. So what is happening here? You see on the top there is a developer and then developer issues some sort of domain specific query and then LLM can help these developers generate synthetic training data in scenarios where access to large diverse label data set is limited. The Nemotron 4 340 billion instruct model creates a diverse synthetic data that mimics the characteristics of real world data, helping improve data quality to increase the performance and robustness of custom LLMs across various domains. And then to boost the quality of AI generated data, developers can use the Nemotron 4 340 billion reward model to filter for high quality responses. Nemotron 4 340 reward great responses on five attributes helpfulness correctness coherence complexity and verbosity it's currently first place on the hugging face reward bench leaderboard created by ai2 for evaluating the capabilities safety and pitfalls of reward models so all in all you don't have to look anywhere else this model or this family of model is going to create the synthetic data for you you can train it your base model or instruct model in it and you can make it your domain specific also using open source nvidia nemo and nvidia tensor rt llm developers can optimize the efficiency of their instruct and reward models to generate synthetic data and to score responses all nemotron nemotron 4 340 billion models are optimized with tensor rt llm to take advantage of tensor parallelism which is a type of model, model parallelism in which individual weight matrices are split across multiple GPUs and servers enabling efficient inference and scale. Nemotron 340 base is trained on 9 trillion tokens and it can be customized using the Nemo framework to adapt to specific use cases or domains. If you don't know what Nemo framework is, I already have done a few videos, so just search the channel please. The fine tuning process of this Nemotron 340 base benefits from extensive pre training data 
and yields more accurate outputs for specific downstream tasks. Also, there are a lot of um, measures they have taken to increase the quality of these models, especially when it comes to inference. Because what they have done is that uh, they have provided the developers a way to align their models with Nemo Aligner and dataset annotated by Nemotron for 340 billion reward model. Alignment is a key step in training LLMs where a model's behavior is fine-tuned using algorithm like RLHF to ensure its outputs are safe, accurate, contextually appropriate and consistent with its intended goals. And as I mentioned earlier, there has lot, um, a lot of things which has been done in terms of uh, these Nemotron models. If you look at the internal architecture, it is quite interesting too. There are 96 number of transformers layers. Hidden dimensions are around 18,000. There are 96 attention heads. And then KV heads are key value cache heads are 8. The sequence length is just 4K, which is amazing. Uh, amazingly small, I would say. A vocabulary size is around 256,000. Also, NVIDIA has shared how they trained this model. So this base model was trained using 768 DGX H100 nodes, not one GPU, nodes. And 768, let it digest for a minute. And each node contains 8 H100 80 GB SXM5 GPUs based on NVIDIA's Hopper architecture. And Hopper stands for H. Each H100 GPU has a peak throughput of 989 teraflops per second when doing 16-bit floating point arithmetic without sparsity. And within each node, GPUs are connected by NVLink and NVS switch. The GPU to GPU bandwidth is 900 GB per second, which is around 450 GB per second in each direction. Each node has 8 NVIDIA Mellanox 400 Gbps HDR InfiniBand host connect channel for inter-node communication. Also, as I mentioned earlier, they have used tensor parallelism, which is a 12-way pipeline parallelism that interleaves and data parallelism is also there. And then they also used a distributed optimizer to shard the optimizer state over the data parallel replicas and reduce the memory footprint. Now, if you want to do the inference on it, let me take you to their model card. And if I scroll down, then you will see that this is what you need required hardware. You need one H200 node that should have eight H200 GPU cards or you need this two nodes and then 16 800 hearts. And then if you want to go with A100, then you have to have 16 A180 cards with 80 GB VRAM. And so you, it means you would need two nodes for it. So it's not a small model. I don't think so mere mortals can as run it, but maybe the major bank, the huge enterprises, if they want some sort of um, alternative of GPT-4 on-prem in-house I think this is one of the good option because the quality looks really go good and if you uh, go to the benchmarking which they have done with with Antu, Lama, GPT-4 the things look really really cool now let me show you if you somehow access have access to the hardware how you can do the inference let me take you to my VS Code this is the code which you need to run in order to get it working. So this is just a small function for text generation. We have imported some libraries and then this is where we are generating uh, our output with the help of some of the hyperparameters like what, what would be the randomness of the response, output probabilities, and then the repetition penalty and stuff. And from here, you can just specify your prompt template and it should be in this format to get optimal answer back. And this is you just get the response from LLM and then print it out. And this code is also present in their Git, uh, in their Hugging Face model card, which you can check out with minor changes if you like. So all in all, you can see that not hard to run. The real, of course, uh, drawback is around 
we don't have the hardware so i believe that maybe you if you go to nvidia's website and do the entrance that might be an option and i have checked on the nvidia's ai playground which you can also subscribe to and once you log in i just went to the ai playground and on the left hand side clicked on this models and then i checked for nemotron and you can see they haven't really put their 340 nemotron there as of yet this is older model 8 billion one which we already have covered on the channel it came out in february i guess or january something like that so you can see that 341 is not available it was just released three hours ago anyway but still i would say um let's wait for it so that i think this is the only way i guess we could test it out so once that is available i'm going to check it out and let you know how i go i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this new model if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching